When we look at scrub water and spill water testing, the main differences revolve around how they are tested when they interact with liquids. Floor boxes can come into contact with liquids during cleaning. All floor boxes must keep liquid from coming into contact with live parts, connections, or conductors of power circuits. UL added the scrub water test to the standard for floor boxes. Since floors around floor boxes should not be cleaned while appliances are plugged into the floor boxes, this test is performed with a closed cover on the floor box. Let's look at a floor box cover that needs to pass the scrub water test. 3,700 milliliters of water is combined with 50 milliliters of floor cleaning soap. In order to test the box, the lid must be tightly installed into a fixture that will simulate it being installed in the field. The gray area is the fixture. Our floor box is installed into the black adapter plate. All seams are filled with caulk, except between the lid and at the outer ring. This allows only one path for liquid to the pan below. The soapy water solution is poured over the lid during a 10 second period. Note the raised portion of the fixture creates an eighth inch dam so water does not run off the floor box lid as soon as the solution is finished being applied. Then the solution is given another 45 seconds to penetrate the lid. Once 45 seconds has passed, Excess solution is removed from the fixture and the drip pan can be inspected. No solution made it through the lid and to the drip pan, but the inside of the box must still be inspected. To do this, we vacuum the remaining solution so none goes into the box inadvertently. No solution has made it into the box. The box has passed the test. Let's look at the spill water test for countertop power. Many products in the market say they can be installed on countertops, but have only been approved by regulatory agencies such as UL and ETL as floor boxes. When issues of user safety are examined, particularly in the presence of liquids, installing a floor box on a work surface such as a countertop or desktop can expose users to risk of electrical shock. Let's get started. Eight ounces of salt water is spilled directly at the face of the powered receptacle. The test requires that the device sit for 60 seconds so water can attempt to enter the receptacle. You can already see two major differences between the spill water and the scrub water test. First, water is expected to get to the receptacle. And secondly, the water will have much more time to seep in. Once 60 seconds have expired, 1250 volts are applied to the receptacle for another 60 seconds. 10 times the voltage the receptacle normally encounters. This is to test the insulation for the receptacle. UL designed this test to ensure water has not pulled inside the receptacle to allow electricity to bridge from the hot or neutral to the ground. If this were to happen, the user could be shocked. Note the flashing red light under the countdown timer. If this turns solid red at any time, the receptacle has failed the test. This Legrand product has passed the test. While the standard does not require the receptacle to function after the test, Legrand is designed to be better. 